Recap Rush Hour for Thursday, February 1st. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Drive what Bears quarterback Justin Fields drives and greater Midwest exteriors, quality, and craftsmanship you can trust. Find them at gmechicago.com. Great question of the day coming up. You can win Lou Malmati's pizza, so get ready for the question of the day in a moment. Bears coaching staff and much of their football operations staff in Mobile, Alabama for the Senior Bowl. This is where many trade discussions start taking place over the past several years. And with USC quarterback Caleb Williams, one of the highest regarded quarterback prospects in a decade or more, Bears GM Ryan Poles expected to be inundated with calls and proposals. Already a report that the Broncos are willing to put a huge package together to get up and get Caleb Williams. You have to ask yourself this question, though. If they're willing to move heaven and earth to give up picks and players, maybe you ought to draft the quarterback instead of letting him go somewhere else. Post your thoughts down below. Bears play-by-play -play voice Jeff Joniak of ESPN 1000 is also at the Senior Bowl. He will be part of the broadcast team for the annual game. Super cool. Washington Commanders hired Dallas Cowboys D coordinator Dan Quinn as their new head coach. Basketball news, Lakers and Celtics tee it up tonight. I was really excited to watch this game, but LA will take out one of the best teams in the NBA, in the NBA without LeBron James and Anthony Davis, both stars, ruled out after shoot-around this morning. James dealing with a sore ankle, Davis dealing with Achilles soreness and a hip strain. The Cubs finalized their signing of reliever Hector Neris away from the Astros. Free agent, a very solid back-end reliever. Cleared a spot on their 40-man roster by designated reliever Michael Rucker for assignment. In addition, the Cubs continue to stay engaged with agent Scott Boris, who represents the top four free agents still on the market. Bellinger, Chapman, Snell, and Montgomery. Cubs have kicked the tires on both Bellinger and Chapman. They will not sign both, I was told today. A major league source also told me Cubs and new manager Craig Council more willing to give some of their young players a chance to earn a job rather than just signing more journeyman players in their mid-30s who in the past would have been signed and blocked solid prospects from ever getting a true shot and making the big league roster. That leads us to our Oasis Restoration question of the day. Find them at oasisrestorationco.com. They'll clean up the mess so you don't have to. And the best response wins dinner at Lou Malnati's. Are you good with the Cubs giving their young players a chance to play? Or do you want them to sign more veteran players, even though there are no true superstar types still on the market? Post those thoughts down below, not on Twitter, right here on YouTube. And finally, sad news. Longtime Cubs clubhouse man Tom Hellman, better known around Wrigley as Otis, 40 years in the organization, 50 in Major League Baseball, died last night after suffering a fall last week at his home in Indiana. Hellman was beloved by the players, had been, as I said, in baseball for 50 years. He was 66 years of age. Our sympathies to his family. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you tomorrow for the Rush Hour. Appreciate you greatly. Take that.